Are you ready for a new operation? Yeah, winner. This one's not going well. Do you require support? No, they're gone. Let's go. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. That lying prick. He was about to kill everyone who would even think about standing up to him. Now, now he's playing the victim. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us had a tart on that, actually. Bags, show him. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there.
Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? Just think, with DedSec backing her up, feeding her intel, she could really stick it to those bastards. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. But a woman with a million enemies, she's quite easy to find. I hope no one's beat us to her. Thank you. 
Jesus. Slaughter, that's what you get for trying to do some good in the sea. Someone's gonna pay for this. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You're right about that, Bagley. Best revenge is to find the truth. I'll have a look about. They got Claire's gear, but missed a tablet. Devil's in the details. Scan that, Bagley. Slightly more than the usual security. Can't just barge past it. It'll take at least a polite cough and an excuse me. Give me a moment. What's with all the graffiti? Jump in the shark a bit, wouldn't you say? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. No reason for the Kellys to advertise murder, though. Everyone knows it's their speciality. Something's off. Huh. A lot of traffic here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Let me guess. They supply Albion. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here. Transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... Get security! Drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Yo, take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is the dirt we need to bury the fucker. Cass is going to answer for all the blood in his fucking hands, including Claire's and the whistleblowers. The Albion triggerman mentioned Carousel. That'll be Carousel Plaza, Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. They're the ones who need the warning. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
Detected. Oh, I thought we warned you about trespassing, yeah? That's right. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? Please, I was just taking a picture of the exterior for... Oh, did you hear that, mate? He was taking a picture. <laughs> picture <laughs> now listen here you knob this is going to be our final warning to you if we ever see you coming around here again the police well, are going to have to put out a missing persons sport. report and i think you we know how you effective they are these down. days yeah i understand brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets but not their own he's a fool this whole city this whole Country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. But I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tag teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarper, or they'll kill you for sure. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I, I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. Auto drive we have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the top and we need it. Auto drive now disabled.
London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that would target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? The famous Hamish. Ha <laughs> ha. In the flesh. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers. Harbian's still around, they're not going anywhere. Hamish? Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. So, now what? Could use a break, frankly. Just me, a bottle, and a stack of books. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he liked to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Right. Cass. Let's get on then. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby.
Moving along. Keep your eyes open. They could be anywhere. Seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the Farrah to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you can do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Grant, just Grant.
seems all that AI training was worth something. Be on your guard. Allow no one to pass unchecked. We cannot let anyone stop us from protecting It London. certainly won't be in his lifetime of I have to say about it. takes care of security, you can now access the elevator to the bunker.
your friend's just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. Fine, but there's still a job to do. We'll cry about that later.
So you've come to end it, have you, dead sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance zero days set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. What a surprise. The station is depleted. Power up the next one with a network bypass. More forces incoming. Check your tail.
attack. Shielding is back online. Power up another EMP station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. Your fight is futile. They won't even without you. stations back online or you have no chance. Finish the network bypass. Signal the cavalry. Heads up.
against that drone the cat is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. The cat has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. You've ruined my plans, dead sick, but only temporarily. in reinforcements. What a surprise.
What you see is the future, the evolution of security. You will not stand in my way. Station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. Let's get this over with. Time to end this. Oh. I will make London great again. I 
I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors? After taking you out, we're off to a good start. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. That's not for you to decide. That's for the people to decide. <sighs> there it is. Death Sex Fatal Flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you? Straight off the streets. Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. <sighs> well, that strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest from zero day as well. Oi, you put down a mad dog dead sick. Needed to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there. Not a fan of being locked up. Really wouldn't recommend it. Glad to have you back. Let's show these pricks how they can't lock us up, okay? Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however, why not recruit a barrister to the team? I mean, no one exactly likes a barrister, but they do have their function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives.